This is Tom Bernanke and today, uh, uh, using home simple stuff, just some simple stuff. You can see I can barely lift it, but stuff you have at home. I'm gonna show you how to blast, absolutely obliterate your athlete's foot, your tinea pedis, between your toes, on your heel, around your foot, on top of your foot, yes all types of athlete's foot. People even Google athlete's foot on the face. I don't think it's on the face, but we'll help you get rid of that one too. So this guide goes over everything, prevention and the best treatment, the best proven treatment principles at home. We've got you covered. So what is athlete's foot anyway? I'm, let's say you're not an athlete, you can still get it. Here's what athlete's foot is. Little gross bacteria crawl all over your skin all the time. There's fungus everywhere. Everybody's got it. You didn't catch it from your cousin who just went to Brazil and caught some exotic fungus or bacteria. It's everywhere. Athlete's foot symptoms. How do you know you for sure have athlete's foot anyway? You have dry skin, you have redness, it's burning, it's itching. It gets in between your toes. It gets on top of your foot. It gets on your heel. It gets on the bottom of your foot. This is not a foot, it's my hand, but you get the point. That's where it shows up most commonly. So athlete's foot prevention, tip number one, you have to get good, well aerated socks. So. Is this a perfect sock? It's not a perfect sock, but it has lots of little holes in it. I don't know if you can see right there. As I get closer, the lighting's bad, but as you have holes in your socks, the sweat can get out of there. So there's a lot of studies. You can spend a lot of money, wool socks especially, thicker wool socks get sweat out of there better. This leaves the fungus nowhere to live, nowhere to chew up, and nowhere to leave their poop and byproducts, which cause itching, swelling, and irritation on your skin. Another thing is, especially if you're working 12 hour shifts, if you're in shoes all day, switch up socks all the time. You get sweaty pretty quickly. You're sitting in the sweat for 12 hours a day in damp, dark conditions, which fungus loves. Don't give them everything they want. They love damp, dark, sweaty conditions. Prevention tip number two, this is probably my favorite option, antiperspirants for your feet. So in medical school, I had this friend who had a condition called hyperhidrosis. He would sweat everywhere all the time. This sweat is like a buffet for fungus and bacteria. They live on your skin, they chew up and eat all that sweat and uh, bad stuff, that dry skin, and then they create their byproducts and irritate your skin. So in the morning, before you start sweating or at night, spray it with antiperspirants. It's the same type as under your armpits. Uh, there's specific brands that are made for your foot. So go to the pharmacy, it's like $5, it's cheap. You don't need to buy expensive foot doctor prescribed uh, sprays. Get the reasonable stuff, just start using something. Get rid of your sweat and your problems will get better pretty quickly. That sweat will be gone, the fungus will have nowhere to live. Next is great shoes. So take a look at this thing right here. It has lots of mesh right there. Um, a lot going on mesh wise. Picture this, if you're in a big thick leather work boot, where's the sweat? Where's all that odor gonna go? You want a well aerated shoe, a well aerated sock. You want that sweat to get out of there. You don't want to wear the same disgusting gym shoes everywhere you go. If you're going on a nice date, there's a reason you wear nice shoes because you don't want it to smell, you don't want it to be all sweaty. So switch up socks, switch up shoes. If you do have to wear a consistent work boot like this, make sure you're antiperspiring your feet. I don't know if that's a word, but I just made it up. Antiperspiring your foot. Um, Spray your shoe with antifungal uh, sprays. These things are cheap. They're, look them up on Google. They're in the show notes. We will give you options for all this stuff and it will keep the inside of your shoe fungus free. I know everybody can't switch shoes five times a day. It's expensive, so get the spray at the very least. Antiperspirant and get the spray inside your shoe. Next tip, 
is get powders for your shoe. If you're still not doing it, brands like Lamisil, the powders, the foam sprays, get those into your shoes, get those into your socks. These do an amazing job. Studies show putting these on your foot or inside your shoe for 30 days, 90% of the time, they get rid of the fungus. Another prevention tip, this might seem a little bit confusing, but how we talked about getting rid of the sweat at nighttime, you want to get moisturizing ointments. So you don't need anything expensive, but you want to get rid of the dead dry skin. Fungus love to live on dead dry skin. The more dead dry skin you have on your foot, heel, between your toes, that's where fungus loves to live. So when you're not sweating, moisturize so especially after a shower it's not drying out and not getting scaly and thick that scaly thick dry skin is a buffet for fungus so get rid of that scaly skin another common cause we're into the treatments now is in between your toes so see right in between there sweat builds up especially in between the fourth and the fifth toe this happens all the time so you want to grab some tissue paper some paper towel and what i'm going to do is i'm going to rip some off and you just tuck it in maybe that's too big of a piece that's a huge piece so see what i did right there i tucked it in between the toes this lets the sweat get out. If you have, we can say this on YouTube because I'm not making fun of you in person or hurting your feelings, but if you have a big foot, and you know what I'm trying to say, if you have a big foot, you need to get that sweat out of there. If your skin is stuck together because your toes are so tight in your shoes, it's gonna chafe. The fungus will build up. Get some tissue paper every day between your toe so that the sweat can get out of there. Change your socks, get the antiperspirant in there. Dry skin, sweat will not stay there and fungus cannot live there. That's like home base, that's ground zero. If you leave um, in between your toes all that sweat, that's gonna cause really big issues for you and continue your athlete's foot. No matter how much expensive doctor creams you put on there, you gotta get rid of the source, you gotta get rid of the fungus. Home remedy time. This is probably the most popular one. Apple cider vinegar right there. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna move it in front of the camera. You gotta be careful with these, so disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. You want to grab yourself a tub. Look at how big this tub is. It's actually a shelf that I pulled out. It's a clear shelf, but it fills up with fluid and it works. What you wanna do, you unscrew this, you pour about one quarter, so one out of four, you pour that into that tub, and then you pour three quarters, so three out of four warm water into that tub and you turn on Netflix, you watch some TV and you soak your feet 20 minutes. This kills fungus living on your foot, pretty much guaranteed. The real key is what do you do next? You have to get rid of the dead dry skin. You have to exfoliate. So if you have a pumice stone, even just using a rag, wipe it. Personally, I'm in the clinic, I love to use moistened towelettes. People, I have them soak ahead of time and that skin comes right off. You killed the fungus and you killed the food source, which is the dry skin on there. So other home remedies you can grab right here, Listerine, everybody's got Listerine at home. Use one quarter in that tub. So that big old tub, I'm not gonna pick it up again because it's gonna hurt my back, but put that in, put some warm water in, soak your feet. 20 minutes that will kill that fungus do that like two three times a week until your athlete's foot is done the next thing you can use i love epsom salts epsom salts are great in fact this is the only one we actually recommend because technically everything's dangerous in medicine and i have to do a little asterisk and warn you um, epsom salts are safe though they don't do all that crazy stuff that people say it's not the crazy stuff all epsom salts do is soak into dead dry skin, that dead dry skin flakes off, falls off. You still wanna use the pumice stone and the rag to clean it. So that's the crazy treatment guide, home remedies. All this stuff works, it's all proven to work. Listerine, apple cider vinegar, uh, Epsom salts. You can even use Vicks VapoRub at the bottom of your feet. It all has antifungal properties. It's a no brainer, it works. 
Yes, there are medicines available, but they're more expensive. Realistically, the disclaimers out there, if you're worried, come see a podiatrist. We've got you covered. We would love to, I would love to see you and take care of your foot fungus. That needs to be said. We love you, but we don't love your foot fungus. So come see us, we'll get rid of the foot fungus. But all these remedies do work, provided you get rid of the single most important thing, get rid of the food source, which is sweat and dead dry skin. Get rid of those. So how do we get rid of those things? You want to wear good, well aerated shoes. You wanna spray it with antifungal and antibacterial materials between your fifth toes uh, and between your toes. You wanna to put some uh, wicking material. That means get that sweat out of there. You want to change your socks, change your socks, change them multiple times during your shift. And very importantly, this is what makes a huge difference for people. Get good, well aerated socks, switch them, antiperspirant materials. Spray your feet with antiperspirants if you're still sweating after all that. So if the shoes and the socks and the cleaning and the moisturizing of the dread dry skin does not work, get the antiperspirant. I have never seen this method fail. It just doesn't, it works. You don't need crazy treatments. If this stuff's not working for you, you probably don't have athlete's foot. And that's the truth. And if this helped, send it to a friend. Let us know what else we can do to help you. Subscribe. We need the subscribers. Help us get this channel off the ground if this helped.